back to another clip you video today we're going to be talking about my final and last camcorder if you got the money i would aim for this one the reason is is now that we have 4k out 1080p really is on its way out i mean 720 has definitely been gone and out right 1080p kind of took over that and we enjoyed 1080p. Now we move to 4K. Eventually, everyone's gonna have 4K, 4K TVs, 4K projectors. Well, we already are there now, right? <laughs> we even have devices that can play 4K. Uh, even phones can do 4K now. So, why shouldn't our camcorders? Why shouldn't our cameras, right? Well, the cameras now are, and so are our camcorders. <laughs> and I kind of did the low end on this one since I saw there was literally three different Sony camcorders that do 4K same about look size dimensions um, features do differ on all three of those but I went with this guy here reason is is I wanted to do better videos, better quality videos. Get away from 1080p instead. My now standard as 4K. So to do that, I needed a 4K camcorder. I did tons and tons of research on this. I, I don't know, six, seven months, eight months, something like that. It, it's several months. And then I monitored the prices while I was researching. Um, saw that it was slowly coming down and then it would go up because the sale came off. Another sale would come on and would bring it down lower than it was ever before. And it's just slowly doing this till eventually, you know, it, it was down to a point where I was like, okay, I'm just gonna jump, let's do it, let's buy it, get it done. I was about to go do that when I got surprised coming home and finding this guy wrapped up and a happy birthday to me. So, this is my birthday gift that I got in March of this year. <laughs> uh, this is the Sony FDR AX33 Handycam. Uh, it does have a cold shoe, so I can mount, I can get a VCT CSM1, which is just a uh, looks like an adapter piece, so I can uh, install a action camera on top. That's kind of weird. I don't know why they're showing this. Yeah, there you go. I need a little light popping there. And then the other one here you see is actually a microphone. Multi-interface shoe. And this one is an ECM-XYST1M. So, two optional accessories. I think there was, oh yeah. And then there is a 100 amp or 100A battery. That is the other option. Uh, they do sell a SD card they want you to buy through Sony, obviously. I, I'm i just gonna go ahead and go with this guy over here. This is the SD card that I got for this guy. And this, this is gonna be followed up with a bunch of other material, but we'll give you a sneak peek, right? Since we're gonna talk about storage, because this guy suggests you using a different SD card. Same one, same size, same look, everything. Only difference is, is uh, 90 megabytes per second. This is that SanDisk Extreme. Uh, it's, a, it's got the three with the U, right? The U and the three, a 10, little circle, right? I'm not sure what all that is. So I think it's class 10, um, and whatever. I'm not a SD card guy reader, right? But you guys can see that, hopefully. <laughs> That is what I'm using in this. Um, in this camcorder right here, I have actually another one. So I definitely suggest buying multiple SD cards, multiple batteries, a 
a uh, battery charger. You can charge the battery on the camera so you can charge two batteries at the same time that way. I suggest doing that, that's definitely handy. Uh, I'll sit over there. So definitely suggest you using that for SD card. Um, so this does 3840 by 2160 pixels. I can do 720, I can do 1080. Um, high speed recording of 120 frames per second. I think that is the 1280 by 720 pixels though. So yeah, that's all right. I can do 4K at 60, so boom. That's what I'm talking about. Timing, uh, trimming playback. So trim or zoom up your desired position in full HD quality. Uh -huh. And then this one has even a even better stabilization compared to this guy. This guy literally has a lens you can see. So when you move it, you can see the lens is staying nice and stable, even though this guy is moving around and up and down. It's just, I don't know. It, it, blew my mind so there you go with those uh, so up to 13 times more stable from wide to telephoto okay multi-camera control so i can operate shoot simultaneously up to five cameras guys so that's probably why i would need a, a mount on this guy right uh, under this plate here is where my cold shoe is. Here's my mic. I have another mic up in the front, obviously. My manual mode, so I can set my manual zooms. This does have a thread insert here, so I can insert uh, actual DSLR camera lenses and the, the filters and all that jazzy stuff that comes really nice. And we'll get into that. I did buy some for this. Um, that's about it. So 20.6 megapixels, uh, pixels, <laughs> pickle, 20.6 megapixels, still image recording, 15 times for the 4K, 20 times HD, clear image zoom. So the zoom goes down the more you do it. This does have the NFC one touch sharing, one touch remote. So I could do the same thing. This has a Zeiss camera lens. Uh, up Biome ZX, XMOR R CMOS sensor, tri tremendous color, <laughs> and full HD 1080p, Wi Fi certified. I can stream with this, so I can use this as a web, not web. Uh, Draw the blank. <laughs> I can hook it up to the computer and use it as a webcam. There you go. Um, not like I want to, so I'm not worried about that. It has a three inch LCD, uh, wide LCD screen. And that's touch screen as well. Uh, it does have a mic input, it does have headphone inputs. Um, what else do you have? <laughs> Um, oh yeah, it does have the Dolby sound, which is great. Yeah, digital 5.1 creator, SDXC, multi-interface shoe, uh, multi-port for the HDMI, the XAVCS, three, so that is for the SD card. Class 10 or faster, take movies in XAVC as format, use SDXC card with UHS IU3 rating or faster when recording with 100 megabytes per second or higher. So that is what I was trying to get at with the SD card, by the way. So after this, it also is compatible with Windows and Mac. Very handy with that, I, I like that. 
The manual ring is really nice. The whole feel of it's nice. It is a lot heavier than both of these put together, which is unfortunate. That's okay though. Just building up the arm muscle right. <laughs> um, so let's talk about accessories then. Get an AC adapter, the power cord, rechargeable battery pack, as a lithium ion V series. Get a USB connection, a support cable, which is what the USB cable is, and then an HDMI cable. Uh, you get booklets, and then it even gives you a little QR code reader, so you can literally scan this QR code and get the manual. Get all the information you need very handy so uh, that is my review of the Sony FDR AX 33 that is a mouthful <laughs> um, currently I've seen these in Target and Best Buy supposedly it's on Walmart but I do not know you can buy this on Amazon um, but Thoroughly, that's a solid camera, guys. I would do that camera and do a Rode microphone on it any day, all day long. As you can see, I'm using the lavalier mic right here, which is from Rode, and I, I haven't had any issues. My audio is a lot cleaner. My videos are a lot better looking, I think. Uh, we will get into lighting a little more. Uh, because I think lighting is definitely most important when it comes to shooting because if I literally turn lights off <laughs> it looks horrible it gets grainy and video just goes down but uh, that is all I have for you guys for this uh, review of my birthday gift slash 4k camcorder slash power horse <laughs> um, do want to try later on though doing like a stabilizer with this uh, camcorder. I'll use maybe one of these camcorders here to do it and show you guys. Um, will I need a stabilizer with that having a built in stabilizer? It's definitely an interesting thought and concept I've had, but have not gotten out to try it. Uh, with the smartphone using the gimbal. Try to stabilize it and then the phone having a stabilizer in it and the software to allow it all to work i did notice that they interfered with one another and i got this little jello -y type feel to it and it just was oh <laughs> this is a headache there was no way i could save that footage it set me back a couple weeks trying to do it and i just haven't been able to throw out video so i'm slowly getting back into it i do apologize for that that was my bad. I should have just said screw it, <laughs> delete, re record, right? Um, I did throw up a short film video uh, that was all done with the smartphone and the gimbal. I do like that one a lot, even though I did get quite harsh uh, replies from co-workers on that one but that's okay it is what it is that's my style my feel it to me seems soothing it seems very informational it seems well put together and you know like I'm not repeating anything uh, showing off nice shadows and highlights without them being too dark or too blown out uh, contrast on the other hand I took down I wanted to try to give it more of a Western look. They didn't like that, that's okay. Not everyone is a fan of my work. I understand that, that's okay. So anyways, uh, check that out if you haven't. And uh, you like this, you like the camcorder reviews we did. Let me know if you know if you think this was a good or idea. And then tripods, obviously I've got a really old Sony one here and I have one that I have pre-built over here. And now uh, get into what uh, that crazy pre-built one is. Concerning that one, uh, I believe goes up to 12 or 15 feet high. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it's insane, but 
definitely was nice and fun to use out in the field. But yeah, that is my review of this camcorder, the features, why I put them in order of least <laughs> to mid to high. Um, some of the resources I, uh, features I use as resources to help me with my videos and how handy those are. And uh, so yeah, thumbs up if you like, thumbs down if you didn't. Leave me a, a idea what you guys think about or just something down in the comments, guys. Come on. <laughs> and uh, of course, thank you for subscribing for all you who have subscribed. Definitely make me feel like I should just keep pushing on. Uh, that was definitely not something I thought I would see. Um, just slowly and slowly we're getting up there and numbers with subscribers and that's awesome. If we can continue that maybe I'll, I'll, I'll have to look into something for uh, you guys, right? I'd be like, okay, you know, click here and then uh, I'll send something out or something. I don't know. I haven't really figured it out yet. I, I just feel like you guys gave a lot to me. And it should be time to give out to you guys. Um, so thanks for watching and uh, until next time, guys.